In today's video, we will be talking about five ways or limang paraan paano kumita ng pera habang nag-aaral. Ang unang paraan ay kumuha ng part-time jobs sa fast food restaurants, hotel, retail store, at many more. Keep it at the bare minimum hours that you can work only. Huwag mo masyadong i-push ng too long hours. Remember, ikaw pa rin ay nag-aaral at importante pa rin na, na makapagtapos ng pag-aaral at makamit mo ang iyong long-term goals at progression sa iyong buhay. Or if you are like me, I did babysitting services or offer clean houses sa mga tita ko when I was studying. Maraming pwedeng pagpilian na tumanggap ng part-time employees. Nasa sayo yan. Ang una kong tip, Magtanong ka sa mga kakilala mo. Referral ang pinakamagandang paraan para makahanap ng part-time job na mabilis. Huwag mahiyang magtanong, mag-attend ng mga interviews, or even check any virtual part-time jobs available sa Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, at kung ano-ano pa. Ang number 2 ko na tip ay ad hoc hustle. For many students, it may be tiring to handle part-time commitment on top of their studies. So here are some of the tips that you should do. Ito rin ay ang mga paraan na naranasan ko habang ako ay nag-aaral. Una, sell stuff. When I was a student, I used to sell snacks in my classroom. True. This is not allowed. Sabi nga nila, bawal magbenta sa loob ng classroom. However, I need an extra income kasi 150 pesos lang ang allowance ko every week. You know what I mean? Those days, I sell small snacks like yema, polvoron, candies, biscuit, or even ice candy. I'm not ashamed. Ang pangalawa kong tip ay do home-based selling. Sell clothes, jewelry, arts, at kung ano-ano pa. Alternatively, take advantage of the digital world. Maswerte kayo ngayon kasi may Facebook, may Instagram, may YouTube, at kung ano-ano pa. Take advantage of it. Pangatlo, Sell your expertise or sell what you know. Halimbawa, ikaw ay IT students. Baka may mga skills ka na natutunan mo from school like fixing computers, antivirus scanning, software problem. Pwede kang mag-charge depende sa ipapagawa. You are learning and you are earning. Diba? Pangalawa, teach fellow students in the same year or even younger levels how to use computer or sa mga subjects and also you can charge them. Or, if you are a marketing student, say, you're offering social media services, digital marketing, at kung ano-ano pa, marami pong paraan para ma-utilize ang napag-aralan. Pang-apat na tip! Growing up, I have been very active in participating all kinds of contests. So, yes, number four is entering contest. You know naman, sa Pilipinas, marami pong mga pa-contest. Singing competition, dance competition, pageants, at kung ano-ano pa. Mahilig tayo dyan, marami tayong talent. So, take advantage of it. Actually, there was one time, my competition sa pageants, sa local community namin or barangay, it was sponsored, so I don't have to spend anything. Zero. Wala akong ginastos. Only my time, I have to spend. However, it's worth it because I won and I have a very big cash prize na pinagsimulan ko din to actually rent my own boarding house. There are so many ways. You just need to really find a way how you can utilize your talent in exchange for income. We are nearing to the end of this vlog. 
So, ang panglimang paraan ay napakasimple. You have been doing this. All of us has been doing this. Sell your notes. Yung mga notebook mo na sinulatan mo na mga answers at kung ano-ano pa during the lectures. It's actually a really great way to make money. Sell it to someone who may need it. Younger years, senior years, whoever. Pwede mo rin ibenta ang old books mo. So go ahead. Do that and make money. Napakasarap sa feeling na kumita ng pera sa sariling paraan. Kung nagawa ko ito, ikaw pa ba? I hope these tips helps you start making your income while studying. Good luck! And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like videos like this. Suggest new topics in the comment section below for more videos. See you soon!